We're now ready to begin our electrical design by copying the lighting fixtures from the architectural model into a Revit MEP project. We'll start by setting up our Revit MEP model by copying in the shared levels and grids from the architectural model. Open the Link Revit tool that appears in the Insert tab to link in a Revit model file. Be sure to choose the Origin to Origin Position option to make sure your project coordinates are aligned with the linked model. The linked model appears in the drawing area. Now let's open the East Electrical Elevation view that appears in the Power section of the project browser. We'll select the linked model, then use the Pin tool to lock the position of the linked model. Next, we'll copy the shared levels and grids from the linked model into our host project to help us get started. Use the Copy Monitor tool in the Collaborate tab and select the linked model. Then we'll click the Copy tool and turn on the Multiple option to copy in several items all at once. Use a drag selection to copy all of the available elements, after which we'll filter a selection to include only the grids and levels. Click OK to close the filter dialog, and we'll click Finish in the Options bar to complete our selections in this view. Now we'll open the South Elevation view so we can select the grids that run in the North-South direction. Again, using the Copy tool with the multiple options, we'll drag select all the elements available, followed by the Filter tool to include only the grids. As our next step, we'll copy in the lighting fixtures from the architectural model into our Revit MEP host project. We'll use the Copy Monitor tool again and select the linked model. Then we'll use the Coordination Settings tool to specify how we'd like the lighting fixtures copied in. For the copy behavior, we'll choose to copy them individually or as a batch. We'll choose Copy Individually. Then for the mapping behavior, we'll choose to copy the original fixture types rather than mapping them into different types in our MEP model. Now use the Copy tool and select each of the fixtures to be copied. As you select each fixture, a small heartbeat symbol appears above it to indicate that this fixture has been copied and any changes to it will be monitored. You can use a drag selection to copy many of the fixtures all at once, and you don't have to worry about duplicates. They won't be copied again. Let's filter out the grid so only the lighting fixtures are copied. Then finish our selection, and finally click the Finish checkmark to complete our copying. Having copied in the shared elements, we can create some working views to assist with our lighting and electrical design tasks. First, let's create some floor plan views for each of the levels in the project. They'll appear in the project browser under the Mechanical Power Floor Plans section in the outline, but we'll move them to a better place. Select the plan views in the list, then in the Properties palette, change the discipline for these views to Electrical. Similarly, let's change the subdiscipline from Power to Lighting. Click Apply, and when we return to the project browser, you'll see that the views have been moved to the Electrical Lighting section of the outline. Now let's create some reflected ceiling plan views in a similar way. Again, we'll change the discipline for these new views to Electrical and the subdiscipline to Lighting and click Apply to place these ceiling plan views in the appropriate section of the project browser list. Let's make another needed adjustment to the settings of our Level 1 ceiling plan. In the Extend section of the Properties palette, click the Edit button next to the View Range. The View Range for our new ceiling plan is set to 10 feet above the associated level. Since our level 1 is 15 feet tall, we'll extend the top of the primary range as well as the depth. We could enter a specific elevation, but it's even safer to choose the level above for the top of the primary range and the depth. That way, if the levels ever change, the view range will automatically adjust. Finally, let's adjust the east elevation view so we can see how the light fixtures line up with the floors and ceilings in the linked model. We'll use the VG shortcut, then open the Revit Links tab to adjust the visibility of the linked model. Change the display settings for the linked model from By Host View to Custom View, and we'll do the same for the display of elements in the host model. We'll turn off the visibility of all the categories in the host model, then turn on only the ceilings, floors, lighting devices and lighting fixtures. Then click OK, and when we return to the elevation view, we can see the lighting fixtures located on the ceiling elements.